Warning, this video may contain foul language and crude humor and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in all your toy hunting missions. Let's get started. So today, <clears throat> we are highlighting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles foot soldier two pack from the live action film from 1990 um, this is made by NECA I found these um, at Walmart I was went in to look at other action figures and ended up finding a Motu uh, Skeletor mini with Roton and then I went over to the NECA Funko section and there was a guy standing there and he had this up on on top of something else. And he had looked like a smartphone in his hand and I was like, oh shit, looks like a scalper um, pricing it. And so I was looking at the other stuff that was available and nothing, nothing was super appealing and I was getting ready to leave, and I was like, you know what? I want to look at what he's got. Because I saw that I thought it was the foot soldiers. Because some other people were talking about them coming out. And I wanted to see them. Because I'm not... Truthfully, I'm not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan whatsoever. Um, I remember them. I watched a movie on VHS. Uh, I did not watch it in the theaters. But... I understand. Uh, I remember the first comics were black and white, and I, apparently they were violent little motherfuckers, which is cool. But then they had to kind of tool it towards kids, and that's awesome. You guys can like that. But I picked this up because, one, these are some pretty incredible action figures. Um, I have not... I've opened the box... And looked up, looked at it, so I had a plan when I showed you guys this. Um, but this box was sitting there. I asked the guy, hey, you going to be buying this? And he's like, no, I'm stocking it. I work here at Walmart. And I'm like, oh, shit, okay. And he goes, uh, it's 50 bucks. So I picked it up and started looking at it. And I was like, wow, it's, it's kind of worth 50 bucks because... Uh, as everybody knows, a Marvel Legends figure, figure is $20, $25 a piece, and you get two figures here. So, and then you get all these weapons, you get different hands, there's some nunchucks down there, and then there is a weapons rack in the back. And I'm, I like bad guys, so these guys appealed to me. The one thing I'm conflicted with is if I'm going to leave them in the box or take them out. Because this box is super, super, I would call as close as mint and mint box as possible. Because if you look at, like, the corners, see if we can focus on these without getting complicated. The corners are nice and sharp. I mean, he j I think he just pulled it out. There's a little bit of a, a flunky right there. but And then I cut the tape to get in, into it. But the corners are super sharp. The plastic on the front is really clean. There's some scratches, but not what it, I've seen on other things. Um, and then you get the... So there's the picture from the live action movie. Foot soldier, foot soldier, weapons rack, and the and the weapons rack's pretty dope, guys. Trust me when I say that. It's it's like somebody that sculpted it actually knew how to how wood is made, or things are put together with wood and nails. So let's pop him out and take a closer look. <clears throat> So there's, yeah, two pieces of tape here. Oh, I didn't show you guys the back. 
get make sure the glare is off. And there is NECA. Uh, and I'll give you guys the UPC. So if you guys are trying to track it down and have various sources. I know sometimes you guys can be really resourceful finding stuff. All right. So you get the, the weapons come in this tray. I don't know if this is typical of NECA, but the ones I'm impressed with is the nunchucks, because I'm pretty sure they're on a, it's a real chain. So you get uh, two pairs of nunchucks, you get these little things that are on the part of their band, uh, headbands on the back where it's tied, you can change them out. I believe these are smaller than the ones on the figure. Then you get a pair of hands, another pair of hands. Then you get an axe. Kind of a semi-long sword, not super long. You get a baton. That might be called something else, but to me that looks like an old-fashioned police baton. And then you get a pair of size. And then the axe. And then you get what looks like just a long staff. And then it comes with this weapons rack. And when it sits flat. The wood is angled, so you can hang hang your weapons duh, 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 down here. Now this is the part that I was impressed with, is right there, you got two nail holes in each one. Where if you like look on the back here, it's not here, but they got it on the other side too. So that's actually how you would attach this in real life if you didn't bolt it all the way through. So I was impressed with that. Now let's get a closer look at these guys. They did it. The, the, the sculpt is freaking unbelievable with the amount, like on the eyes. I mean, the texture is there. It's not like spray painted on texture. It's in the molded in the plastic. And then his mouth with a little, I guess, a little air mat so they can breathe. And then you look at his chest clothing. Even his little uh, belt he's got tied there. It's pretty impressive. And you got the waves in the the clothing. Then you got his boots. He does have slightly the split toe boot, but not completely. I remember some of my friends in high school fucking uh, had those from when they were in junior high and elementary. And it's like, wow, they do really make those kind of boots. But and then this is the other side. And these are just tied in right there and with some black cord so you don't see it. So you don't see all the little tie up things that sometimes you can see in packaging on stuff. So that's kind of kind of nice that they looked looked at it at that angle. And then truthfully, I don't think 
Oh, let me show you this. So on the inside, you got this diorama or of a sewer, which if you wanted to set up your figures in there and pull the plastic out, you could. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty re reasonable picture. Looks actually better, better on camera than in real life, but yeah, it's still nice. So we'll put him back in here. So this guy was, like I said, 50 bucks, but at 25 bucks a piece, you get the weapons, the weapon rack. It's it's not too bad, guys. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, if you like my content, please, please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to look at my other videos. I've made, I'm up to around 30-something videos, and I'm, I am a, it's not just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or just He-Man. I, I like G.I. Joe, I like Star Wars. I haven't done any of the the Star Wars stuff that I've collected for videos yet, but I'm working on it. And so, I hope you guys like my content. I hope I didn't uh, waste your time today, but if you guys see the, if you like this, they're out there at Walmart. Um, there was only one on the shelf, and I don't think they had another one. Because the guy was messing with the pricing or something on it because he was looking it up. But like I said, he did, it didn't get on the shelf. I think he had brought it out to put it on the shelf. So I made sure I snapped this one up because either if I keep it in here, cool. Or if not... The other thing, uh, I'm, I will display them one way or another because I like the bad guys. The other thing I wanted to know from you guys is I'm thinking I'm going to have to get a shredder if I display them. And which shredder would go the best with this version of the action figure? Because I'm not too, too much into it. I'd have to go looking. Um... But what's your what your what are your thoughts? I don't want the the you'd say the kid toy version. If they have a shredder that came went along with the movie, and that's badass or something similar, where it's where you got the texture, you got you don't have to have all the hands and bullshit. But the detail in him, in these two guys, I want it equal to what shredder is or shredder better but without spending a shit ton of fucking cash. So let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.